Carlo Ancelotti received a very public sacking after failing to win the La Liga title and the Champions League title this year, a decision that many disagreed with. Rafa Benitez is the only overwhelming favourite to be the 10th manager in 12 years, but that might not only be the only major decision to hit Real Madrid, as it is rumoured key player and striker Ronaldo may have one foot out of the door. Here now to set the record straight is William Hill's in-play radio host, Lee Phelps. Now, Lee, before we go on to Ronaldo's possible transfer and to which team, let's quickly talk about Ancelotti's departure from Real Madrid. Was this a good decision? No, no. no I mean, but they, you know, if, if you don't get the success, then they show you the door, don't they? They, they, they love to get new managers in. I, I, I'm kind of, you know, old-fashioned, if you like, and think that if you've got stability at a football club, especially someone with a class of Ancelotti, you know, this guy's a, one of the top managers in the world, he will bring you success. You know, didn't get it this time. Um, for whatever reason, we're obviously not privy to what goes on behind the scenes, but the team seemed to lose a little bit of spirit towards the end. Whether that's his fault or the players is obviously open to, open to discussion. But no, I, I, would have, I would have given him another year, I think. I think it would have been fair to give him another year, give him the chance to you know, redeem himself and the team to redeem themselves. You know, they know how it works. Cristiano Ronaldo is their best player. He came out and said he wanted Ancelotti to stay. That's exactly. good enough for me. Mm -hmm. Well, do you think Benitez is the right man for the job? <laughs> He's kind of like a charmed manager. I mean, he has got a fantastic CV. You know, you look at his, his European uh, trophy triumphs. You know, pretty much every club he's gone to, he's, he's managed to do well in them. Obviously, he failed. He fell short a little bit with Na Napoli. I mean, I, I tipped Napoli to go to the Europa League final. They were, they were beaten, of course, um, in the semi finals. And disappointingly so, really, losing, you know, uh, losing once and drawing with Dnipro. I thought that was a disappointing end. But, you know, Benitez has got something. I think Real Madrid is a big job for him, to be honest with you. I mean, you would imagine that anyone can go into a club like Real Madrid and make it work. Lots of, lots of egos there. I think Benitez is probably more suited to a club who are just under the radar rather than one who are, you know, right at the top of their game. I think he'd probably work better with a team like his time at Liverpool, where Liverpool weren't expected to go and win the title, didn't have the best squad in the Premier League, but he did an excellent job with them. So a team that's maybe um, undervalued, he can maybe lift them. I'm not sure Real Madrid is the team for him. I mean, I'm sure he'll do great and I'm sure he'll win something. But um, whether he can take them to the kind of triumphs that Barcelona have had this season and may go on to have is, uh, is another matter. I, I'm, not, I'm not so sure. I, but I see why they want to give him a chance because they're running out of managers for a start, aren't they, Real Madrid? <laughs> That's right. And you're right there when you said, you know, Ronaldo, though, he was behind Ancelotti here. And I think for that reason, he's now been up for discussion on whether the world renowned footballer will move clubs uh, and tongues are wagging. Uh, so let's talk for argument's sake that he will transfer. Uh, which club is he most likely to go to this summer in the summer transfer? I guess Manchester United. You know, he's made no secret the fact that he loves the club. Um, I think probably he'd like to go back there. I think if he doesn't go this summer, though, he would probably then go home. You know, I think he would maybe return to Portugal and finish off his playing career where he started it. But I could honestly see Manchester United making a big play for him uh, this summer. Um, you know, I think not this summer right now, 2016 I'm talking about. I don't think 2015 is when he moves. He stays at Real Madrid for another year. There's no way he leaves that club in the position that they're in right now. 2016 is when I think the move will be made and I think Manchester United will tie up a deal if they can during the rest of the season. This won't be something that goes on forever. Manchester United don't do the business like that. They do it in secret. They make sure it's all done and dusted. Uh, and I, but I don't think Cristiano Ronaldo would want to leave Real Madrid without having something in the trophy cabinet that season. You know, it's always going to be difficult to follow up La Decima, you know, winning the Champions League last season would have been backing it up. No club's ever done that and so that record goes on. So I think uh, Cristiano Ronaldo will want to win either La Liga, Champions League, and then leave Real Madrid, and uh, and that would seal his uh, his you know his triumphant spell at Real Madrid. But uh, I'd be looking at Man United 2016. Uh -huh. Well, for this summer transfer window here, uh, Manchester United a prize 5.5, 88 Sport, and then PSG is the second favourite there at 16, uh, also with 888 Sport. Uh, he does, however, hold the shortest odds to remain at Real Madrid, and that's priced 1.1. Um, 
But there's a few contenders as to where he will be, uh, where he will end up uh, when he transfers. And it's interesting that you say uh, returning back to Portugal. Then we've got Sporting Lisbon as the mm -hmm. second favourite, 3.25. So would you say his fate is pretty much sealed? He w is going to stay at Real Madrid and it's probably better to look at the next club if you're into sort of making those very long bets there. So you've got Manchester United first, that's about 2.2 followed by Sporting Lisbon, 3.25, and then, interestingly, uh, followed by LA Galaxy. Yeah, not the MLS, I don't think. I mean, that's really reserved for players who are coming to the end of their careers, maybe one or two seasons left. I think he's got plenty left. I think, you know, I think he could still do a very good job in the Premier League from 2016 onwards, maybe only two seasons. But, you know, that American adventure, obviously, you know, Gerrard's doing it this summer, uh, Lampard's doing it, of course. Other fantastic players have, have gone over to the MLS. So that's maybe in the future. Uh, but I, I honestly think that if he's going anywhere, then I think it would be Manchester United. You know, I can't see him. I mean, PSG, I don't know why you'd want to go to PSG, really. I mean, it, it seems a little bit like you know, they're just throwing money at things and, you know, they're not quite getting there. Manchester City, can't see him doing that to Manchester United. I'm thinking of the, the big clubs. Chelsea, yeah, not so sure. Um, although there is that link there with Jose Mourinho, of course. Um, but, yeah, I think Manchester United would be the best one. Um, and Like you say, it's whether you want to wait until summer 2016 to be paid out on this bet or not. But I think if, if he's, if, when he leaves Real Madrid, I think we'd see him in the Premier League, maybe one more season, two more seasons before he uh, starts to uh, hatch a retirement plan. Mm -hmm. And would you, you know, because there's also a possibility, obviously, the January transfers, you know, he could, uh, you, you don't know how he's going to sort of bond well with Benitez there. Um, and maybe he moves in the January transfers. Maybe, yeah, it is a possibility. Um, I, I just think that he would see out a full season wherever he goes. There's no need to move on, is there? And I think, you know, chances are, unless Real Madrid have a terrible first half of the season, they're still going to be involved in the Champions League come January. They're still going to be involved in the La Liga title race, still be in the Copa del Rey. So, like I say, I think he'll want to leave with a win under his belt on one of those three preferably one of the two big ones, La Liga or the Champions League. So I don't, I don't see him leaving in January. I see him doing one more full season at Real Madrid and then moving. All right, so Ronaldo is staying with Real Madrid then. The odds are low, 1.1. Lee Feltz, thank you for joining us. Pleasure.